I wanted to show you the snow pile behind me, so I have to face this direction to do it, of course. Let's go ahead and show you. Obviously, we're in Red Rose Commons, where a huge snow pile has formed because plows are working to clear this lot, even though I'm sure it will be closed today. But it's the same concept that PennDOT goes and clears some of those back roads because it knows that if it lets that snow pile up, it's just going to be so much harder to then go back and try to clear it. Probably the same reason you might want to go out and try to shovel some of this right now so that you're not ending up with so much of it in the long run. So we do know that as the sun's coming up, you'd think that plow truck drivers might be able to see a bit better. PennDOT's saying that's not the case. They're still having a lot of problems. Four of its plow trucks did get stuck overnight and into this morning. They just can't see the road, so they're plowing along. They think they're on the road. They end up going off the edge and getting stuck. And if plow truck drivers are getting stuck, you can bet if you're going to head out here, chances are you could get stuck too. 911 dispatchers tell us that did happen this morning. In several cases, they had some disabled vehicles on 283. They had one woman, they said, that was on Millport and John Landis Road near the Lancaster Airport, went off the road, got stuck in a field. They said that she was a nurse on her way into work, so we applaud her for trying to get there, but maybe staying over last night would have been the better bet. We do know that she is doing okay, so that's some good news. Southern Lancaster County is the area that PennDOT is most concerned about. Obviously, the winds are picking up here. Drifting snow is going to be a problem. That's why they said they can't bring out their snow blowers just yet. We can try to show you some traffic here is moving. Visibility, of course, low, but you can see even, I think that must be a plow. I see the yellow lights flashing there in the distance. This is where 283 and 30 meet up. PennDOT says the highways are still passable right now, but some of those secondary roads are becoming questionable. Some are impassable. Uh, talk to emergency management agency workers. They said that PPL is only reporting three outages in all of Lancaster County, so at least there's some good news. But I know some folks in southern Lancaster County, or at least near there, said they can't even open their front door right now to get out. I also heard from a prison worker who said that she was driving her Jeep in, and in some cases she felt like the snow was even higher than her Jeep. In Lancaster County, Caitlin Smith, News 8.